Android Authority is back in Barcelona for this year's Mobile World Congress. Our Boots on Ground team has been hard at work finding the best tech that is worthy of your attention. I'm Harley Moreno with Android Authority, and in this video, I'm going to be running through our list for the best of MWC 2023. To kick off our list, we have the Lenovo Rollable Laptop Concept, which has to be one of the coolest concept devices we've ever seen. At a touch of the button, the screen expands with a smooth motion and basically doubles your screen size. It's certainly an interesting new direction for flexible displays, and we certainly can't wait to see it hit the market. Now, if you took Lenovo's rollable laptop and then shrank it, you'd have the Motorola Rizzer rollable phone concept. As its name suggests, the Rizzer is a 5-inch compact phone with a foldable display that rolls up to reveal a full 6.5-inch panel, perfect for watching videos or for more comfortable typing. Plus, when it's rolled away, the extra panel on the back acts like a secondary display for notifications or for use as a viewfinder for photos. Keeping in line with smartphones, we have the Nokia G22. Now, it may not look very special, but it does have a trick up its sleeve. Unlike most budget handsets, the Nokia G22 is made with repairability in mind. In fact, HMD Global has teamed up with iFixit to offer repair kits and replacement parts. This means that users will be able to replace components like the battery, display, back cover, or even the charging port, which allows users to save money while reducing e-waste. Next on the list is the Honor Magic 5 Pro. Now this phone pulls out all the stops, complete with a Gaudi-inspired curved glass pack and 50 megapixel triple rear camera setup. And if you want to learn more about the device, be sure to check out our hands-on video when you're done with this one. Now, if you're in the market for a foldable, you don't just have to go with Samsung's offering, thanks to the global launch of the Honor Magic VS. This new foldable looks impressive and even feels better in the hand. It packs a folding screen with minimal crease and a snappy hinge, a flexible triple rear camera system, and a thin profile that remains usable with one hand, even when the display is folded. If foldables, Honor, or both aren't your cup of tea, then there's also the Xiaomi 13 Pro. It may cost a little more than the S23 Ultra, but it's certainly got the hardware to compete. The highlight feature, of course, is the camera system, co-branded with Leica. The triple 50 megapixel camera setup is headlined by the one inch Sony sensor for the main shooter and features deep collaboration with Leica on aspects like color science and lens tuning. If you're an avid mobile photographer, this could be your next dream phone. For a more modest choice, there's the Realme GT3. Now this upper mid-range smartphone will set you back around 649 US dollars and features a beefy Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, smooth 144 hertz OLED screen, RGB light on the back for notifications and other effects, and blazing fast 240 watt wire charging speeds that will get you from zero to 100 in under 10 minutes. Now, if you're a diehard mobile gamer and demand the best performance out of your smartphone, then you'll be interested in OnePlus's 45 watt liquid cooler. Now, to use it, all you have to do is snap the clamp on the back of your phone and then watch as your temps start to drop by up to 20 degrees Celsius. Or for my American friends, 20 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Unfortunately, OnePlus hasn't provided any information about pricing or availability quite yet. But hey, it looks pretty promising. The Panzer Glass Matrix Hybrid Glass Screen Protector may be a bit of a mouthful to say, but this is actually quite a special screen protector because it is made with 100% recycled plastic. And after getting a chance to see it in person at MWC, we can say for sure that the screen protector feels surprisingly good and does resemble glass more than it does a cheap plasticky screen protector. But before you go out and buy one for yourself, be aware that as of this video, the Matrix model is only currently available for the Galaxy S23 series. Now jumping into artificial intelligence, Qualcomm's stable diffusion system has really impressed us. Using this tech, the company was able to run an AI text-to-image generator offline, on device, without the need for a server or a connection. And on top of that, the processing only took 15 minutes. For the demo we saw, the Stable Diffusion model was running on an Android phone with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which is why it can render these images so quickly. And although the resulting image wasn't very high res, we appreciate the tech's privacy and speed capabilities. More and more phone makers are announcing plans to bring satellite connectivity to future products. And Motorola is following in this trend with the DeFi Satellite Link. This is a compact, durable Bluetooth device that allows any Android or iOS device to send and receive text messages, share location, or contact emergency services via satellite. The service is run by Bullet Group and costs $4.99 a month, 
while the satellite link itself will run you around 99 US dollars. And considering how much of a lifesaver satellite connectivity may be, the prices honestly aren't really too shabby. One piece of health tech that really impressed us at MWC was the Neurologics Health Assessment Technology. Now this tech can analyze over 30 vitals with just a selfie video, so no need for a smartwatch or other external monitor. It works on any smartphone by analyzing the user's facial blood flow, then uses AI to compare it against a database of thousands of patients. The software then provides assessments for cardiovascular health, diabetes risk, and more, with a claimed 95% accuracy rate. Now Xiaomi's making another appearance on this best list with their electric scooter for Ultra. This new e-scooter provides better range than Xiaomi's previous flagship model and can even go up steeper inclines thanks to a more powerful motor. The electric scooter for Ultra is also the first scooter from the company to come with double suspension for a more comfortable ride. Now this scooter will be available around the world for around a thousand euros, which is roughly 1,055 US dollars. Next up on the list is the TCL Max Paper 11. Now at first glance, it may seem like any other low-end Android tablet. However, the big selling point of the tablet is the company's so-called Next Paper 2.0 technology, which is just fancy speak for a matte display. The end result is a glare-free screen that's easy on the eyes while viewing content. And with a price tag of 249 US dollars, the Next Paper 11 may be a great deal for people who value a great screen above all else. Now, after many years of teasing, we're finally on the cusp of commercially available wireless power transmission. Asia, a longtime developer of wireless power tech, partnered with Arcos to release what is claimed to be the first wirelessly powered product that customers can actually buy. Like Wi-Fi for data, power is delivered to security cameras wirelessly. No longer are you limited by access to outlets, nor do you have to deal with the mess of cables. The Techno Megabook S1 has also made it to our Best of MWC 2023 list. This laptop sports a sleek design with a beautiful 3.2K screen, a 12th gen Core i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, up to a terabyte of SSD storage, and a beefy 70 watt battery. And while there's no official word on pricing just yet, the laptop is reportedly set to launch at around 1,500 US dollars. And rounding off our list is the Prophecy Metavision. Now, it's not a smartphone, but instead a sensor that you will probably find in a smartphone in the future. And the purpose of the sensor is actually just to track motion. And when you pair the motion tracking sensor with a traditional imaging sensor, the company hopes to be able to turn smudgy looking images into properly crisp, detailed images. Right now, there's no word on what phones will have this tech or when we'll even start to see it come out to other smartphones, but it's definitely worth keeping an eye on in the future. That about does it for Android Authority's Best of Mobile World Congress 2023. But what do you guys think about the products mentioned in this video? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you excited for some of them? Let us know in the comments down below. While you're down there, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload next. I'm Harley Moreno with Android Authority, and I will see you in the next one.